Before Nashville's property tax increase, one study showed us just how badly Metro needed the money. And now that same study is back as petitions once again attempt to undo what's already been done. News Channel 5's Levi Ismail has the story and more about how you can find help new at 6. The problem wasn't that Nashville was growing too fast, more like how would we pay for all this growth? We need to be able to count on public safety, count on public health. Jennifer Carlett is the chief policy officer with Nashville Area Chamber, one half of the group responsible for this study now resurfacing after another attempt to undo Metro's 34% property tax hike. What they found was that for years, Nashville had been paying more expenses than we had revenue coming in. And the result is that the city did not have much of a fund balance, money that can be used in cases of emergency. Over the last five years, Nashville had less than a month and a half's worth of expenses saved. And that's a problem if you're going to have stability in your city. For that reason, Jennifer says the chamber supports Metro's decision. We've seen through this analysis how damaging it could be to the city to have that revenue removed. More than half of the city's revenue comes from property tax, and so far, about 80% paid by Monday's deadline. Metro tacked on a 1.5% interest for any late payments, but now there's help. Metro's charter won't allow for extensions, despite winter weather getting in the way. Instead, the council voted Tuesday to work with the housing fund. They will cover the interest for zip codes where people are at risk of losing their homes. If you're eligible, they may even pay up to $1,000 of what you owe. It may be a lifeline for some, but Jennifer says it's certainly one for a growing city in need of support. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Thank you, Levi. Metro invites anyone paying their property taxes late to pay what they can until they can cover the remaining balance. We'll have more details on newschannel5.com.